Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Third Rome, playing as Moravia. Currently trying to force ourselves upon the throne of Lithuania. Because our, I don't know, third cousin twice removed does not deserve this throne. We shall have it for ourselves. Now of course, Lithuania is having a little bit of trouble of their own right now. Kiev um, has broken free, which is going to be a little bit difficult to deal with, but... I don't know, we might be able to use this uh, to our advantage at some point, reconquer some stuff for Lithuania, make them like me a bit more, I mean, who knows yet, we'll, we'll kind of see what's going to happen, but in the meantime, we're trying to work down some of these forts, my manpower is going away pretty quickly, which does scare me, but I'm not really inclined to break my armies up to save myself manpower when I know that there's a good, I don't know, what did we see last time, like 12,000 troops or so, maybe more, walking around, also it looks to me like there's a rebels uh, sieging this down right now, which could be a bit of a problem, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, so I had to reload the game because it crashed. I was actually in the process of recording this video and uh, winning the war, and then the game crashed, which is weird. Oh, that's not good. The burgers gaining more influence? You've got to be kidding me. Let's uh, demand some power from them. I mean, they're going to be a threat for a while. When does the next thing end? Uh, not for a while, I'm afraid. 1504? 1503, and the disaster fires when? It's not going to tell me until the end of the month. All right. In the meantime, let's demand some stuff from other estates. Uh, I don't think we need to seek their support because it's not going to be enough to get anything. And we will demand military support from you and call a diet. And that'll have to do. I need more manpower. That's what I need. There's a looming disaster. Of course, it's going to fire just before something expires here. That kind of figures, right? <clears throat> them having a center of trade apparently is enough to give them 5%. I wasn't aware of that. Uh. Well, I'd hate to do it, but if I, if I have to, I could revoke some land from them. Just temporarily, anyway. Let's just try to pay attention to that and not forget if we can. Not a good way to start the video, that's for sure. Bavaria broke their alliance with Württemberg. Austria is taking money. There they are. Okay, we're actually currently in a fort race right now, and they're in the woods. If we were to attack them here, we would have the advantage. Which we could use against them. That five shock scares me, but otherwise... Possibly good enough. Oh, goody. And Silesian peasants also fired. Hmm, wonderful. Alright, well. We'll deal with that later. For now, let's get this fort. If we were to attack this army and kill them, that might be enough to end the war. Possibly, and then I could focus my efforts on killing all the different kinds of rebels. That are running around right now. Take the fort! Darn it. Take the fort! Thank you. Is this enough to end it right now? You're at low war enthusiasm. Nope, not enough. Okay. Guess we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Silesia, come with me. We're gonna go kill the Lithuanians. Not too bad. Oh, never mind. There was a stack white. Crap! <laughs> I was about to say, not too bad, because I don't want them to lose all of their troops. But then that's exactly what happened. Kind of figures now, doesn't it? Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I can have them release nations, don't want to do that. Return cores does not make any sense. Nothing else here to do, and certainly don't revoke any cores. So the only thing I could do to them now is actually take some money. But I don't think I want to do that, because I want them to have enough money to actually, you know, survive. So they have to rebuild quite a bit after these uh, rebels. Let's just go ahead and end the war now. And that's it. Boom. We just took Lithuania. Boom. Personal union. I am God. Sorry. What? Um... We still got 21,000 troops over here. These separatists are going to be a bit of a problem. I need to go kill these Silesian peasants real quick before they break the nation, so I'll be right back. Denmark has announced Moravia as a rival. Really? Also, the rebels broke them. Really? They they lost they lost to the rebels. Okay. They lost to the rebels, guys, and Lithuania just went bankrupt. Maybe I should have taken that money after all. The problem is I'm now, like, out of manpower, which is a little bit of a problem. We need to go ahead and improve relations with these guys as much as we can for a while. And we'll reduce, uh, we'll eliminate our spy network, doesn't really matter. Lithuania, please start trading up some troops because I need your help to go and kill all of these, uh, all these rebels. They're gonna be a bit of a problem for me. We'll unsiege a couple of these. Unsiege that. Back off. Just trying not to let them break them, you know. Alright, estates, uh, the burgers, are definitely going to be a bit of a problem. Interestingly enough, low trade income was enough to reduce this substantially by 5%. Oh, 
Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's going up by one per month. At this rate, the plutocratic coup will start on 1 May 9. What? There we go. March 1506. Huh. So having low trade income, interestingly enough, is going to be, um... Ooh, they have 100% liberty desire. Is going to be enough to ensure that we don't have the, uh, the coup. That's good. Okay. Now, I hate to lose more manpower, but I think we're going to have to try and um, put down this fort. Truce of Bohemia just ended. That's scary. Humiliate rival. Done. Regency Council in Bohemia. Okay. So, Kiev, you have no allies. You'd be very easy to deal with if we could just get rid of the Palatsky and Separatists, which I can't really do until you guys train up some more troops. France, how are you looking, sir? France would like to ally, and so would Austria. Okay, I expect... Yeah, Austria's about to become the Emperor. Let's ally with them now. Before we do anything else... There. I know I'm over my relationship limit. I'm aware. The important thing... Yeah, I'll accept that as well. The important thing is we now have Austria as an ally. Which means when they become the Emperor, I should be able to act pretty much with impunity against Bohemia and I'll be fine. That's excellent. Okay. Okay. That's what I like to see. Can you please unsheath this? 23,000 troops is a lot to deal with, guys. Bit of a problem for me, to be honest. Also, I really don't like this disloyal stuff. Relative power to Moravia. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, you're pretty strong, buddy. I would love to feed Kiev back to you, but here's the thing. I feel like you'll get stronger and you'll get mad at me. So we probably can't do that. We just have to we have to put down these rebels for you. Long enough. Whoop! Colonialism! There you go. Long enough for you guys to strengthen up and fight these rebels, get free, get stronger, and then we'll use you to fight Bohemia. And probably the Teutons. And we'll get a lot stronger so that you don't mind me so much. Then we'll have to feed you back Kiev. So just don't lose your cores. That's the big trick. Don't lose those, and we'll be fine. Province war score cost. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that. We are very close to getting the diplo tech cost reduction, and also lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions such as breaking off royal marriages. New monarch in Bohemia. Castile got a gift from the Pope. Oh, the Pope's showing favorites now, is he? All right. Go here and here. We're just going to make sure they don't get broken. That said, I'm almost wondering if it's better to let Palatsky and the Palatsky Palatsk nation break free. But that's a lot of cores. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, Palatsk breaking free is super dangerous. They will break Lithuania in half. A bit more than I think I can handle. Apparently, Muscovy and Ryazan are having a tiff. Really? Ryazan's trying to become independent. I can't imagine that's going to go... Why are they doing well? Ryazan? It's not going to last. I don't know what Muscovy's up to. Maybe it's dealing with the rebels, but they've got some quick, easy victories. It's not going to last long. Ryazan can't break free from Muscovy. Muscovy's way too strong for that. Okay. You're going somewhere. You're going south. You want to go down here? You don't have a core down here. I have no idea where you think you're going. Okay, let's so give me an opportunity to unsiege some of this. Lithuania, I know you're bankrupt, but you need to try to get a little bit better. Bohemia declared war on Hesse. Hesse is still the emperor. That's bold. How dare you? We're still ahead of time on tech, right? Yeah. Alright, more military for us. Actually making some pretty good progress on these defensive ideas. Getting there. Could really use um, some new advisors, but I'm not making a lot of money. Nobles demand recompense. Recompens recompens crap. Uh, ooh, I don't want to take a loan, but I'm not going to lose the stability. That's a terrible idea. Reduce maintenance. Wait a couple months. Get some money. <clears throat> what they siege? Where'd the rebel rebels go? They went somewhere. Move away. Don't let the rebels come get you. I need more money. It's not going to be enough, is it? Wait one more month. Okay, I can pay it off without taking a loan. Perfect. Done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Thankfully, we got through that all right. 
So, we're starting to make up some manpower. I could probably make that better if I went to the Holy See. Taxes, interest, rep, mercantilism. Free mercantilism is good. That's 100 diplo power. Manpower recovery speed only works if I'm at war. I mean, 15% taxes isn't going to do a ton for me, is it? No. It's not terrible. It's just not going to do a ton. Yeah, let's just hold off for a little bit. I'll save it in case I need a stability at some point. Um, I love the manpower recovery. We lost some power projection, apparently. I have not I have not insulted anyone in a while. Bavaria, you suck. Thank you. Give me monarch points. Okay, Lithuania is disloyal but not rebellious anymore. That's good. Uh, royal marriage is a pretext to claim their throne is going up by five per year. So is broking, breaking an alliance. So is aggressive expansion. Um... So yeah, my my opinion with them is approximately going up by like 11 or 12 per month, no matter what. Plus I'm improving relations. Now granted, liberated our province, declared war, no, we are kin. We are kin is going down, we're still kin. It's fine though. Maybe I'll get lucky at some point and I can just integrate them straight up. I have no idea if that would work, but I'd like to. Silesia, I need you to send the rest of your troops up here, please. Um, I want to kill these rebels. I'm finding it very difficult to do that. Our royal marriage with Austria ended already. That's not good enough for me. Royal marriage. Okay. Uh, what I need to do is annex these guys. And I have to wait until... Oh, one month. Oh, yeah. Let's, go, let's, let's begin the annexation process of these and free up a relationship slot. Granted, I'm not going to have a lot of diplo power to work with, but it's okay. We're also very close to capped out on admin power. Let's, uh... Let's see, we could we could reduce our inflation, but it might be better to get some development. This is what crashed my game last time, by the way. Clicking the include subjects broke it. I don't want to see my subjects. So, if we wanted to get some more splendor, what we could try to do is spend a ton of power getting somebody up to 30 development. Prague, for example. It costs a fair bit of power, but we could get there, and it's farmlands. 30 development? Wait a minute. Why are you saying 23? This is weird. It's supposed to be 30 and 21. It's off by a factor of 2. Isn't that bizarre? A little bit. Okay, well, we'll get a little bit more. That's worth a tiny bit more tax income. Uh, we'll make some more progress to getting the large city thing. I'd like to get Prague up to 30. That would be quite good. Okay, Lithuania, keep training up troops, buddy. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Silesia! I'm gonna... Well, I mean, we're already at 200 opinion with you. Yeah, we're gonna annex you in a couple months. Or one month. There we go. Annex Vassal. It's gonna cost me 264 Diplo power. We are spending 8 per month because we have so much diplomatic reputation. So it's going down by 1. We're not gaining any Diplo power at all. But it's fine. We'll free up um, we'll free up a relationship, which will save me one diplo power per month, and we'll also gain some more land. We can turn it into a state for very cheap, and we'll have borders with the Teutons, and then we can kill the Teutons. It's perfect. Okay, Lithuania, I'm gonna follow you because I don't know where you're going, but you're scaring me. You want to free this land? I understand. It's okay, but let's stick together here, buddy. Splendor. What can we get? Combat bonus and terrain of capital is pretty okay. Uh, all grasslands would be better for us, basically. No, no, maybe. Um, is okay. If I was expecting to fight people with vassals, which I don't. I think we go for the adaptive combat terrain. Makes us more effective in grasslands, yes? Not farmlands? Grasslands, yeah, all right. So if I could fight these guys in Grasslands somewhere, that would be better for me. Still not great, but it's an improvement. Alright, he's going back up north. Split. Split. You're not keeping this stuff for long, guys. I don't want you to break Lithuania. You don't understand. Okay. Going up here. You're in the marsh. Marsh. Woods, woods, woods. I don't want to fight him until he's in grasslands. And even then, I'm concerned that I'm not going to have enough men. 
Without Lithuania's help, we're kind of in trouble. Can we see what Lithuania's force limit is now? Now that they're a vassal. Well, personal union. Force limit is 24. They have some manpower, but probably no money because they recently went bankrupt, right? Can we see that anywhere? See your events? Don't think so. So we're just going to have to sit around and wait for a bit. Hey, Poland! Uh, I, I would like you to come and fight this, but you won't. Nah. It's not going to work. Still doing okay on power. Have four years to go. Uh, leader has died. Great. That's what I wanted to see. Sure. Could really use someone new. How's our uh, heir? It's a 2-2-3. Two, two, I don't want to risk him. He's way too good. But now that he's of age, I could justify risking my king. We, we, could, we could do that. Use our super king to kill these guys a little bit more effectively. It's a little risky. I'd hate to lose the stability, but it would work. Okay, they moved back over here. They're in the woods still. And I didn't have to make a decision. We died anyway. <laughs> all right, all hail the new duke. The 563. Well, now we're not losing diplo power. Poland wants a royal marriage, eh? Oh, I don't know, Poland. I don't know about that. I don't think so. I think that there will come a day when we decide we want to kill you. Nope, stay there. Unless, of course, your son dies, and then I could claim your throne, too. Good lord, can you imagine the double whammy? That would be amazing. It's not going to happen, but it would be amazing. They're losing some men here, interestingly enough. Hmm... Well, I'll have to have a general to fight these guys, but I'm not sure what to do about it. How much more can I improve relations? Not a lot. Another, like, 40 or so. Granted, it's still going up by a lot every month. Well, every year, sorry. No, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's not going up by 12 per month, it's going up by, like, well, let's see, 1.75, 1.7, 3.4, 1.7, 1.7, 3.4. It's going up a lot per year, just passively. No biggie. Still not in grasslands. Farmlands. Lithuania, keep training up that army. You need to come and help me. Okay, they're thinking about it. I hate to spend the power on a general because I really want to finish off these ideas, but I think we have, we have no choice. Let's get a new general. A 132. Could be better, could be worse. Shock value is still pretty good at this stage of the game. Lithuania has a much better general. We have a numbers advantage, I think. I don't know. He might go to the Grasslands. Let's see if he goes here next. I still want to fight him there if I can, not the farmlands. Nope, now he's going south. Gosh dang it. Festivities! Gain a free stability! Yes! Farmlands again. Dang it. Lithuania, no, 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 stay nearby. Li Lithuania, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, buddy, come here. There are no grasslands over here. Maybe we should just fight him in the farmlands. Probably, right? All right, let's go. Lithuania I, and Silesia, I need you guys to jump in on this. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Help me! Help me! Thank you. God. All right, we've saved Lithuania. <laughs> Defended our provinces, liberated our provinces. I mean, we got a pretty good opinion thing right there. I think I just screamed in the microphone. I am so sorry. I just realized that that uh, probably wasn't very good. All right, we've maxed out with them. We are making some good progress on Silesia. Let's go ahead and move these guys back home. Now, problem. Bohemia is allied to Denmark and Poland. I would like for Bohemia to lose this war, but somehow I feel like they're not going to. Then again, they didn't call in Poland and Denmark on their defensive wars here, did they? Nope. So the odds of me getting to use this against them are pretty low. Alright, but Lithuania's dead. Um, I would feed them Kiev, but I am concerned with them being as strong as they are against me. If I feed them more lands, they're just going to increase that liberty desire even further. 
I, I think we want to hold off, eat Silesia, maybe use them on one or two wars against, let's say, the Teutons or Bohemia or something like that. Then, then I will worry about it. We lost the claim on Straubing. Oh, right, Bavaria. I forgot about you. Let's spy on you again. And we'll use one on Outrage Countries. Which apparently is Brandenburg. Brandenburg's outraged at me? No, they're friendly with me. What are you talking about? Clergy political struggle. Clergy gain influence. Yes. Then, seek their support. Then, send an emissary to the Pope. Then, we could get a level 2 guy for cheap. Missionary strength, unrest, probably... Won't matter unless I recruit both, to be honest. Nah, I think we'll just, um... Well, I can't really demand their power right now. Hang on. Still two years ahead of time there. Uh, we could do some more development, I suppose. Go to Prague. Okay, we're maxed out there. That's 25 development. Now let's demand some support. Or we could get keep this nice and high. I... Ugh, but power is so good. I could not demand anything, and I get extra papal influence and taxes and stuff like that from a very loyal clergy, which is tempting. That's going to make a pretty big increase right there. We're up to three papal influence per, um, per year right now. That said, I, I don't know. I, I, think, I, think the, I think the admin power is still too good. I think we just have to take this. Then again, what am I doing with 100 admin power right now? We're not we're not at war with anybody. Let's wait until we finish annexing Silesia and see how things look. Let's go home. Okay, just we're, gonna, we're just going to sit back for a little while. Could really use some more manpower. Could really use some money. Let's reduce our army maintenance for a while. Make five ducats a month. Uh, and tell no friendlies to stack for a while. Lithuania, just sit back. Get stronger. Austria has rivaled Venice. But they're no longer rival to the Ottomans. The Ottoman... Jeez, I have not been paying attention to these guys. They've gotten a little bit big. Oh, he smokes. This is going to be a turkey game. Definitely. Truce of Silesia has ended. Okay. We're almost done annexing them, though. Next month? Darn it! Alright, it's the Pope Man. The Pope Man wants me to defend. They declared war on Provence. Gonna wait a minute. Say goodbye to Silesia. Integrated. Done. And we've incorporated them. Done. Become Emperor. Somehow I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Conquer Gressen. Gnessen. Where is that? This one against the Teutons? Yeah. Our manpower needs time to recover. It does, but I'm not sure I can afford that. Maybe we go for conquering Gnessen. Yeah. So, um, Pope, you're not fighting France currently, you're fighting just Provence. Is it going to stay that way? Because if I have to fight France, I'm going to be a very sad man. I'm going to be a sad man. I, I don't want to do that. Are we not married to Austria anymore? Let's fix that. Marriage. Yay! Maria Theresa! <laughs> Theresia, sorry. Theresia. Uh, 624. We married her. She was a little famous. You might have heard of her. Okay, so we got that. That's good. Um, they're still not... Okay, we're accepting. We're fighting Florence and Provence. I can afford that, though. Uh, let's get these guys. I need more morale. I have no morale at all. There you go. Come this way. Come over this way. Are we over our force limit? Yeah, oh god. Yes. Uh, we need to turn this into a state, is what we need to do. And it's not going to cost me much to core, because all we were missing was Radabor in this area. See? So, by annexing it, these three start off as full cores. We just had to core that up and we're done. Now, how are we looking? Still only 15? That can't be right. Justify my war! Awesome! Take that. Okay, we have 16 force limit. I stand corrected. 16. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Um, so yeah. The fact that we have 18 regiments is a bit of a problem. I guess I could consolidate 
but it wouldn't save me much. It would save me like 700 manpower and reduce my... Yeah, let's consolidate. Didn't, it didn't do anything. Never mind. Hmm. I really kind of figured it would be a lot better than that. I guess their autonomy needs to tick down a little bit faster. I cannot lower autonomy while we're at war. Estates demand control. Nobility. Of course they do. Hang on. Uh, you currently have what? 13 out of 15 percent? I will give you this. That should satisfy them pretty nicely. Okay. So we're now basically about as big as Bohemia used to be. That's good. It's going to claim on you. Just as a pocket CB. Not that it's going to matter once Austria becomes the Emperor, which is apparently not happening anymore. Why? Wait, the Palatinate wants me to be the Emperor. What? Oh, okay. Hey, Cologne, I'm going to improve relations with you for a bit. I guess people are recognizing that I've uh, become kind of strong. Good. Good. Uh, Teutons allied to Denmark. Uh, Bohemia would be defended. Can't fight them right now. Don't want to fight Denmark, but could call in Poland and the Palatinate. Denmark is strong and scary. But with Poland's 19,000, plus Lithuania, plus the Palatinate's 8... Well, let's see. Papal State is having some trouble, so they don't want to join. Austria would not join. I don't owe them any favors. On halt? Right here. I have no idea how many people you have, but it can't be many. I'm not going to help the Pope right now, because I kind of need to recover my manpower. Now, we're going to sit back and wait for a little bit. I'd love to declare war on the Teutons and or Bohemia, but I don't want to fight Poland. Um, if we were to fight the Teutons, though... Okay, we definitely have to do it this way. We have to fight the Teutons and call in Poland on our side. We'll already be at war with Denmark. And then we have to fight Bohemia. No, fight the Teutons. Wait. I don't want Poland to be allied to Bohemia, is what I'm trying to say. We could call in the Teutons, fight them, call in Poland, then fight Bohemia in a separate flash war, siege them down quickly before we deal with anything else over here, make them break their alliance with Poland, Poland won't defend them, I'll already be fighting Denmark, so it really would just be them, only them. This is going to be a little tough, but I think it could be done. I don't know if I want to be the Emperor right now, to be honest. Why are you voting for Denmark? How dare you? Denmark does not deserve it. Hmm. I am getting favors with Austria now, though. That's pretty cool. And France is still not interested in being friends with me anymore. They used to be. All right. Family ties. Austria will like me better, and I get power. Sweet. I can, I can deal with that. That sounds great. Switzerland declared war on... Everyone's killing the Emperor. Everyone is murdering the Emperor right now. Can't say that I'm surprised. So, Pope Man, here's what you need to do. You need to uh, you need to take this fort, then move on to the capital. Peace out, Florence. Okay? Get Rome back, get your territories back, then you can focus on Provence. Did no one else join? Austria joined, right? If Austria's in on this war, you should be fine. Why is Austria not helping? Can they not get military... Oh, they can't get military access. <laughs> That's funny. Let's, um, let's improve with Venice for a little bit. Make them like me. I can ask for it, and maybe Austria will get it on my behalf. Two papal influence, or a noble with a weak claim becomes heir. Do I not have an heir? I do not. I could get a weak heir, but I don't, I don't think I want that. I think there's a very good chance I can get a new heir. Nah. Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. Give me two papal influence. Build a great palace. Oh my god, yes. Done. I'll take that prestige and I'll take that legitimacy. Thank you. Yeah, the Pope the Pope should be able to beat this. I, I, I think with Austria's help, you'll be fine. 
I don't know why Austria can't help. Do they not have a... They have a dock. They absolutely could get some transports and move some sh uh, troops over. They're just being lazy. Maybe the Pope doesn't like you as much as you thought, Mr. Pope Man. Maybe not. They're getting stronger, by the way, which is scaring them. Scaring me, I mean. Yeah. Is my trust with Lithuania going up over time? They deeply distrust me. You don't say. And I don't see any way that that's going to change anytime soon, to be honest, but we'll see. Huh. Well, I need to be ending up this video, but, um, I don't, I can't feed Lithuania more land. I'd like to, but I can't. If I did, Lithuania would be too strong for me. No, the only way that's going to work is if I take some more land from Bohemia, the Teutons, and Poland. If I can fight these three guys, get a lot stronger, then Lithuania won't be a threat to me. Then I can feed them Kiev. But until then... I think these cores are just going to have to wait. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.